Welcome back to Feynman Education. Today we're going to dive into the exciting world of physics behind the latest Flash movie. Get ready for some lightning fast physics and mind-bending time travels. So without further ado, let's go. In the movie, we see the Flash displaying incredible speed, darting through the city in the blink of an eye. But how does he achieve such lightning fast movements? The key lies in the concept of acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity and the flash's powers allow him to accelerate through incredibly high speeds in an instant. According to Newton's second law of motion, the force required to accelerate an object is directly proportional to its mass and its desired acceleration. Since the flash has human, superhuman abilities, he can generate immense force with each stride propelling himself forward at supersonic speeds. Keep in mind, though, that real-world physics currently limits our ability to reach such velocities without extreme consequences. One of the most mind-boggling aspects of the Flash's powers is his ability to travel through time. This feat is rooted in Einstein's theory of relativity, particularly the concept of time dilation. Time dilation occurs when an object moves at a significant fraction of a, the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory, time appears to slow down for the moving object relative to an observer at rest. In the Flash's case, as he approaches the speed of light, time slows down for him compared to the rest of the world. This allows him to seemingly travel through time experiencing events at different rates than those around him. One cool theory the movie touches upon is that it makes clear that time travel doesn't have a linear effect on the timeline. For example, the butterfly effect. A time traveler doesn't simply create a branching timeline when they are change a historical event. Rather, their actions reverberate backward and forward across time, causing rippling changes in both directions, the past and the future. Well, I need to travel back in time to confirm if that's true though. Now let's talk about the Flash's amazing stamina. Maintaining super speed requires a tremendous amount of energy. However, this introduces a problem known as the conservation of energy. According to the law of conservation of energy, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change forms. To sustain his powers, the Flash must acquire energy from an external source, converting it into the kinetic energy that propels him to at extraordinary speeds. This is why he needs so much energy from food constantly to build up that energy. Understanding the concept of energy conversion is crucial in appreciating the physics behind this, his actions. Another iconic aspect of the Flash is his incredible control over electricity, often seen when he generates lightning. His power draws inspiration from the principles of electromagnetism. Electromagnetism is the force that governs the behavior of electrically charged particles. When the flash moves at incredible speeds, he creates friction within the air which leads to the buildup of static charges. Just like how static electricity can generate lightning during a thunderstorm, the flash's electrified movements allow him to generate lightning at will which in turn allows him to pull off cool emperor style lightning moves. And there you have it folks, the physics behind the flash movie from super speed and time dilation to conservation of energy and electromagnetism. We've explored the scientific principles that make the flash one of the most intriguing superheroes. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next one.